What's up YouTube? This is your guy Devin the Geek and today we are using Photoshop. We will learn how to make a really cool logo or an icon for anything that you wish to make an icon for. Um, it could be for YouTube or an icon for your desktop. It doesn't matter. But um, it shouldn't be that hard to do but some things are hard for some people and some things are super easy for others so I'm not judging anyone if you know if you can't do it but yeah we're gonna be using brushes and all kinds of stuff today so let's get this on the road shall we um, we're gonna try to make something just like this today but we're gonna be using Photoshop so let's open that let's just wait real quick and if you wish to make these um, these logos as your desktop icon you will probably need to get the plugin for the for your Photoshop and I will show you how to get that as well at the end of this or or as a um, another lesson or something I don't know okay first you want to do is name this name it anything I set mine to 500 by 500 again if you're going to to um, make this as a YouTube icon you're going to want to set this to um, 88 by 88 or something like that you know but if you're going to make your icon you're going to have to set it to like 52 or you know 52 by 52 or, or something like that I'll show you on the um, next part of this on um, getting the icon for your desktop okay first thing you're going to want to do is come over here unlock this layer let's name this layer no background BG background okay you're gonna to want to get your color your own fill color I chose black and I painted black now we're gonna come over here to layers get another layer see we just made another layer I mean, you can name them but I don't think you can get confused with the few layers we're using today but this will be the type with one hand here um, the body layer let's just lock this layer real quick and we're gonna come over to the body layer we're gonna grab this come over here to the rectangle tool this is the rectangle tool but I already did this before so yeah come down to ellipse tool and choose a color that you want to use you know you don't have to have the same color as me but you can and now what you're gonna want to do is hold down shift press the empty I mean right I mean not right left click and open up that circle or ellipse that's what it is like that see what the shift did holding down the shift button what it did was it it make it it allows you to make a perfect circle instead of getting a half dead circle or something like that let me just make it a little bit bigger Okay, let me deselect it. And now we're going to make one more layer. And this layer is going to be the gradient that we use on this layer right here. Let's lock this layer just in case. Okay, we come over here and select your elliptical, your elliptical uh, marquee tool. Now, what you're going to want to do is come over here make something like that let's move it a little there we go now come over here to your gradient tool set it set your gradient tool to this one right here it's um, fade to white I believe or something like that but what you're gonna want to do is come over here and set your fill color to white and now you come up here click come down bam now you have like a reflection on your and you can change your opacity to whatever you want I guess I gotta have it selected but hold on let me make this a little bit bigger
Yeah, let's apply that. Okay, now we got what we want right there. We lock that layer. And now we're going to come over here and make one more layer. And put it between that... Let's name this... Um, shine. And now you're going to put this between the shine, this layer. Oh wait, no, you know, you know what? Better yet, we're going to put it between the body and the background layer. And now come back over here to your rectangle tool. And we got the color white. Or you could use any other color that you want. Hold down shift and open up a circle. I mean, a ellipse, whatever, right behind it. And there you go. We're going to transform this a little. Make it a little bit even. Let's make it a little bit even. Uh, Just making us even here. Okay. Got that little bit even. That's, uh, that's not what I wanted, but oh well. You get the idea. Okay, let's now, now we're going to unlock these layers. Let me look at the time. Okay, we're doing good. Okay, now here comes the fun part. You're going to want to get your brush tool, come up over here, and choose a soft brush. That's soft, well, that's a soft brush, but it's way too big. And you're going to come over here, switch your fill color to black. We're going to set that so we could, you know, paint over it now. But you're going to set, and then wait, hold on. Then you're going to set your opacity to, yeah, about 8 or so if you want. Depends on you. But the first thing you're going to want to do on this body layer is lock it with this lock. And what this does is when you 